beautifully dropped mark, wasn't it? Yes, there it is. Uh, just Dent not being able to control it. Cooter just swept on it like a seagull around a left over lunch. He puts through his first for the day. So he's in the centre square at the start of this last term. You see Mickey Noonan sitting back there, the Fitzroy coach, pretty vocal at three quarter time. The side's put up a, a good effort here so far today. He'd want him to finish off in this. Uh, final term was a game which they started with Carlton 50 to 1 on to win so it was an unwinnable game according to most people for Fitzroy certainly a bit of pride was needed Bradley pumps the ball back and we see coming out as Rowan Welsh he's had a great game he's booted five two in the first quarter one in the second and two in the third term there was a few Carlton supporters shaking their head Heads, I should say, when uh, James Cook went to Footscray, but David Park and the Brains Trust probably knew that Rowan Welsh was coming back and that maybe he might have been a better bet in front of goals. Thumping kick by Rowan Welsh. He liked it for a while. He got excited. He thinks he still kicked it. But just that one calico. Yeah, only the one flag, uh, KB. Jared Malloy, he's just got to get uh, read the ball better. And in those 50-50 ones, be at least body-to-body -body with his opponent. He's being left for dead, always two or three metres behind Rowan Welsh. Steve Paxman, the acting captain today. Malloy. Holmes on centre wing, over the head of Rice. Onto Primus. This Go is Carter. Up. 45 metres out. Mongrel punt. Mellington nearly just didn't fall into his arms. And we'll put that down as a rush behind. Glenn Manton. He's been a very good uh, pickup for Carlton Glenn Manton. Premiership player now. Played 21 games with the Bombers. Left in, uh, well, controversial circumstances, I guess we could say. He was very disappointed, certainly. Turnover goes for Troy's way. Simon Hawking. Playing his 50th game today. Hogg took off the four nominations. Heaver, Grab, Diulio. Oh. oh, what an intercept from Johnson. Into an open goal. Wham, bam. Thank you, man. And he kicks it. <laughs> the steal of the day to Chris Johnson. He's got the mark of the day. Maybe the mark of the year. And a terrific piece of play by Johnson. 6-11 to 13-14. Well, it's been a pretty good day for Ronnie Dulio, but uh, unfortunately, early in the last quarter, he's just telegraphed that handball. Heaver had his back to him in the finish, and Johnson slipped in with the uh, little pickpocket and put one away. Primus wins the tap. Carter back to Primus, feeds it off. Wharf out in front of Barker, but chipping in his Hickmott. Had a very good game, Adrian Hickmott. Of every game except one this year for the Blues. Diulio to Whitehead. Punched away by Paxman. Wharf. Paxman back to Carter. Fitzroy keen to run the ball. Trying to set up a teammate. Dent. Barker lost it there. And a bit... Uh, some desperate play then just to retain the ball and finally force it over. Now, KB, I know you're a master of... Uh the idiosyncrasies of football. Tell me the last redhead to play for Carlton. I'll let you work on that What, well, apart one. from Adrian Hickmott? Yes. Gleeson? What about Gleeson? Is oh, he a redhead? I mean a genuine, fiery redhead. And the galloping zebra. Just gets his foot to the ball there. Here's Morton. So Mellington's going to be the high flyer. Pushed Hickmott out. And Dulio just kicks it through. Well, come on, Jared, we're waiting. Oh, I don't know the answer. Oh. I thought KB, the master of football trivia, would... Well, we did uh, say Gleeson. What about Gordon Collis? Yes, well, he was uh, certainly reddish. Had a gingery tinge about him, didn't he? Reddish. <laughs> OK. Please ring Jared Healy during the week, folks. He'd love to take the call, Sir Barney. <laughs> There's the redhead, Hickmott. Goes in short. Ratten. Morton comes at him. Kicks up towards centre oh, center field. Hogg, formerly of Footscray. Hogg starting on the bench today. He'd be keen to get up a few possessions in the last quarter.